With the development of technology, the city is getting densely populated. Due to this, the backyard in which the residents of the city used to relax and enjoy their leisure time no longer exists. Instead, it has been converted to parking lots and buildings. So the question is, where can city residents relax? We found the answer: the Greater Worcester Land Trust. Hi, my name is Colin Dovick, and I'm the executive director of the Greater Worcester Land Trust. The Worcester Land Trust was founded in 1987 as people watched parts of their neighborhoods and their communities go away. They were becoming houses and parking lots and businesses, and they thought, where will there be something left for the future generations? Where will we be able to walk and hike and go for a boat ride? Now. Almost 30 years later, the Greater Worcester Land Trust has helped preserve over 2,494 acres of land. And not just in Worcester. We worked in Worcester, Boylston, West Boylston, Holden, Paxton, Leicester, Spencer, Auburn, and Grafton. Who knows what's next? One of the great things about the Greater Worcester Land Trust is that the land is supposed to serve not only as a backyard for us as the people who live in Greater Worcester, but also as wildlife habitat. As a result, we've had things wander in off the streets of Worcester, including moose, bear, and beaver. And these are things that are exciting in a city of 180,000. These are some of the neat things the Greater Worcester Land Trust has been working on. We preserve two farms, several ponds, a lot of forest land, and then we manage these properties. We manage them for wildlife habitat, and we manage them for passive recreation. Passive recreation is the sort of thing that doesn't impact the land. So things like hiking or jogging or nature study or taking photographs, going for a walk, taking a canoe ride or a kayak ride, snowshoeing. These are the sort of things that the Greater Worcester Land Trust tries to encourage. It gives you an opportunity to see wildlife and be present in nature and also to get a little bit of recreation and enjoyment. This is the Mid-State Trail, which is going from New Hampshire all the way down to Rhode Island. And the Greater Worcester Land Trust is working in this region here. Our next trip is going to be over to the Donker Farm, which is in Tatnick, which is in northwest Worcester. Why don't you come along and check it out? Welcome to Donker Farm. This is a family farm. It's an old model of New England farm. This is the way that we used to do things. It's not a large production farm for money. It's a small farm that supports the family by providing things like eggs, fiber, meat, um, and vegetables so that throughout the year sort of helps the budget, makes it possible for things to happen. Donker Farm is the last farm in the city of Worcester and the city of Worcester started out as one large farm country. As the time went on we moved from farming into trade, eventually into industrial production and now we end up doing a lot of information technology, we do a lot of white collar work, but this is sort of how Worcester started. Small farms, families, chickens, geese, and sheep. Welcome to Donker Farm. Now we're at Cook's Pond, just across the street from Donker Farm. And this is the waterfall that lets the water out of Cook's Pond. Above us is a large body of water that has approximately eight islands, a lot of pine trees, and a great source of people who are looking to canoe, kayak, go ice fishing, go uh, cross-country skiing when there's a fresh snowfall. It's a wonderful spot to see migratory birds and ducks, Welcome to Cook's Pond. So the key difficulty and problem for the Greater Worcester Land Trust is how do we as a community manage these places? How do we manage things like these trails? How do we manage Docker Farm so that we as a community all come together and make sure we don't lose the last farm in Worcester? Right now, these places work because of people like Elizabeth Donker. We're moving to future generations. How do we share the load so we can continue to have sheep, and geese and chickens and a chance for kids to see what a family farm looks like. So the real trick now is figuring out how can people join us as members and as volunteers. And it'd be wonderful if you all could join in and come join us so that we can go out together and work on these things together and make sure that Worcester in the future continues to have these great places together. Come along with us, it'll be a great adventure. <laughs>